everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would film for you guys a full booty workout using only resistance bands so this can be done at home it can be done at the gym if you do all the exercises it's kind of a hip workout if you try and include as little breaks as possible and um, or you could just include some of these um, exercises into your um, usual leg day but I hope you guys enjoy so I'll get straight into it. I always start every workout with stretching. Um, no matter what it is, I'll always stretch my legs. Um, if I'm doing upper body stuff, I'll obviously stretch my upper body as well, but I love just stretching my legs just to ensure that I'm having flexibility and everything like that during the workout. So that's what I've included. I hold every pose probably for about 30 seconds if you can. All right, so with the workout, there's three different circuits and each circuit has three different exercises. So you'll do the first circuit through three times and doing each um, exercise for about 15 reps, some for 20, depending on how you feel. If you can push through to the 20, do so, but if you can't bear it anymore, then do the 15. So the first exercise is jump squats. Um, I've shown you at a few different angles so that you can see my form and everything like that. into donkey kicks or yeah straight legged ones um, these are really good at targeting the glutes and then I'll move straight from that into fire hydrants which is really good for your outer glutes like the sides of your glutes and yeah then after completing all three exercises take about a 30 second break and then repeat them again During my breaks, I always have a sip of some water, just take a minute to have a little quick breather. And yeah, then moving straight on into our second circuit. So after you've completed the circuit, the first circuit three times, then move on to the second circuit. And we're starting off with just glute bridges. Um, these are really good, I love these ones. If you really make sure you gotta squeeze your glutes at the top of the exercise. And then straight from those, I move into single leg glute bridges. So pretty much the same thing, but you're isolating each glute. And then straight after that, I move into these, oh, I don't even know what you'd call them, like, I guess kind of like a butterfly glute bridge. Your knees, your feet 
Oh, it's kind of hard to see in the clip, but your feet are like not flat like normal. They're on their sides and you pull your knees out, if that even makes sense. And then you just do a glute bridge as normal. Then take your 30 seconds break and repeat that one two more times. So the last circuit is starting off with crab walks. So you're just walking. I How I do it is I walk four steps to the left, then I'll come back four steps to the right, four steps to the left, four steps to the right, um, just to ensure that I'm using both of my legs accordingly and evenly. But um, yeah, that one's really good. That one burns. Then I move straight on into side lunges. These ones are actually killer. I always forget about these, but I love them. I always wake up the next day sore from these. But um, yeah, I've shown you those at a couple different angles as well, so you can see my form. And then straight after that, I move into, I don't even know what these are called, but like plank kickbacks. So you're kind of in an up, like a high plank. And then you like kick, it's kind of, oh, kick your legs back. A bit kind of like a donkey kick, but not as high. So this one's including your upper body and your abs as well, which is really good. And also get your heart rate up. And then once you've completed that circuit two more times after you're resting, you are done. So that one's a nice, quick and easy workout. It can be done, as I said, as a hip workout or include those exercises into something else. Um, yeah, I definitely woke up the next day sore. I usually, if I just do resistance band work, don't usually wake up sore. But yeah, I woke up really sore from this workout, which is good. Um, also, the resistance bands that I'm using, I'll leave a link in the description bar below where you can purchase them. And if you use my code Taylor10, you'll get some money off, which is really good. They're actually really good. Like, I've, you've seen me use resistance bands before, and those ones were okay, but they used to roll all the time. And, like, I guess, like, they were getting a bit old and the lettering had faded on them and everything. But these ones are really nice. They're purple, so that's, that's a positive. Um, and yeah, they're really strong, haven't let me down yet, so I'm really liking those ones. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the workout today, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.